Hi everyone, welcome back to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sheridan and this is the second chapter in our advanced accounting course. Today, we will be discussing payment terms. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to create payment terms, create payment term templates and apply them to sales and purchase transactions, view reports on the status of payment terms. As an organization, you carry out various monetary transactions regularly with multiple parties in sales and purchase cycles. In any transaction, it is important that payments are made on time and according to the term set. A payment term helps to set a schedule according to which payments will be made. ERP Next allows you to save your business's payment terms and include them in all the sales or purchase documents that might need them like sales invoices, purchase invoices, quotations and more. Payment terms define a specific payment slab. For example, 50% advance and the rest post-delivery of the goods. ERP Next also lets you build a payment terms template by clubbing various payment terms so that you can effortlessly use them in transactions to set a convenient payment schedule. Let's see how we can create and apply payment terms and templates in ERP Next. To see the payment term list in our system, we can go to the accounting module and click on payment term under accounting master. Alternatively, we can also use the awesome bar to search for payment term. Here, we can see a list of all existing payment terms and create a new one by using the Add Payment Term button. We will first have to add a name for this payment term. Next, we will have to choose an invoice portion percentage, which will determine the amount of the invoice for which this payment term will be applied. Let's add 50%. Now the payment terms will only apply to half of the invoice amount or grand total. Alternatively, we can change it to 100% and this payment term will be applied to the whole amount. We can even specify a mode of payment for this amount. The due date based on field lets us pick a type of due date, whether it is a specific amount of days after the invoice date or invoice month or even a specific amount of months after the invoice date. For example, if we want the payment to be cleared within 30 days of the invoice date, then we can choose days after the invoice date and add 30 in the credit days field. Next. We have the discount setting section. We can add discounts for any early payments such that if a payment is done within a specified period, then some amount or percentage will be discounted. We can first choose a discount type, whether it is a percentage or a specific amount. Then the discount validity based on and discount validity field helps us specify how long this discount is applicable. Additionally, we can even add a description for this payment term if needed. Once done, we can save this payment term. We can now use this payment term whenever we want. A payment terms template allows you to club multiple payment terms together and use them in various transactions. The template tells the system how to populate the payment term schedule section in any sales or purchase document. To see the list of payment terms template, we can search for it in the awesome bar. Here, we can see a list of templates and we can create a new one using the Add Payment Terms Template button. First, we will need to give this template a name. Next, the Allocate Payment Based on Payment Terms checkbox will help us define whether we want the paid amount to be split and allocated as per the payment terms in the payment schedule or not. Next, in the payment terms table, 
we can add pre-created payment terms as per our schedule. The payment terms in the table should amount to a total of 100% for the template to be applicable or valid. Once we've added all our payment terms, we can save this template. Once we save it, we can see that using the connection section, we can add this template to a sales invoice, sales order, quotation, or even a purchase invoice and a purchase order. We can even assign a payment terms template to a specific customer or supplier, customer group or supplier group, so that when party is chosen, the payment terms template will be automatically fetched. Let's try adding it to a customer. Let's now try to create a sales order and add our payment terms and templates to it. We can navigate to the sales order list by searching for it in the awesome bar. We can open a sales order and scroll down to the payment terms section. If we want to add individual payment terms, we can add it in the payment schedule template like this. Alternatively, we can add the payment terms template we just created and the payment terms and due dates along with other details will be fetched and filled automatically. We can then add other sales order details and save this sales order. Now, let's have a look at the Payment Terms Status Report. This report is called Payment Terms Status for Sales Order Report and we can find it using the awesome bar. As we see here, this report shows us the status of payment terms based on sales orders and invoices created against them. This is a sales order we just created. It shows both pending and paid amounts separately and we can filter this report using a date range by customer, customer group or item wise as well. This brings us to the end of the second chapter in our advanced accounting course. I hope this helped you understand what payment terms are and how we can create payment terms and templates in ERP Next and use them for our sales and purchase documents seamlessly. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss credit and debit notes. Thank you.